it's Alaska Granny. I'm at a granny camp and I'm in my pop-up greenhouse and it's 80 in here. It's way warmer than it is outside. Sadly, what I want to talk about today are the food shortages, the rising prices, the gasoline prices are skyrocketing and if you've been into the store lately, you know there are shortages, prices are going crazy. And in some instances, they're even putting limits on what you're allowed to buy. I happen to be looking for some more pool shock, which is something you can use to purify water. It's not as readily available to purchase that in Alaska simply because we don't have all the swimming pools that they do in other places. And even if people have hot tubs, you may not use pool shock. I don't know. Recently at Fred Meyers, which is a part of Kroger, they had a one little tiny section where they had pool supplies. And then it said limit two. And I'm thinking you hardly have more than maybe eight. Limit two? That's not going to help very many people be able to have the supplies that they need. Pool shock is also useful for water purification. You can mix it up and make gallons of bleach and then you can have more bleach on hand than just storing big bottles. One of the problems though with storing the pool shock is it is a chemical. You need to store it in an airtight container and it doesn't last forever. I had some stored for several years in a very airtight container and it actually exploded inside the container. It gives off gases. You don't ever want to store it in your house. You want to be sure that you store it away from any of your food. I had some that I had stored in a cabinet in my garage and somehow it leached out a little bit and there were other things in there that it definitely affected the other items that I had stored in that cabinet. You have to be very careful when you're storing chemicals. The price of gasoline is going up. I've been surprised that it's been staying steady for a little bit of time, but all of a sudden yesterday it went up 10 cents a gallon at every gas station. I was shocked that it went up so much, but it's still lower in Alaska than it is in some of the states in the lower 48, which I'm thankful for that because a lot of other things are far more expensive here. There is no one perfect place that's the least expensive to get everything. We all have challenges wherever we live. If you pay any attention, the stock market has been rising and dropping, rising and dropping, and now it is dropping. While it may not affect you if you don't have anything invested, it also affects the overall businesses, the things that are available, and it is a sign of gloom and doom for our economy. The stock market is an indicator of how our finances are doing and where our financial future might be headed. You combine that with the crazy news of uh, everybody seems to be rattling sabers and wanting to get into a world war. I have no idea why anyone would think it's a great idea to get into a world war. You have to wonder if some of the government leaders and some of the big businesses are into it for financial gain. It's concerning for me. No one wants people suffering anywhere in the world, but we're doing some suffering here at home. We need to take care of some of our problems before we worry about other people's issues. Whether we want things from China or not, it affects so many corners of our economy of the things that we need, the supply chains. We have the raw materials, the medicines, the ingredients to make medicines. We are so dependent on many of the things that come from China that this is a concern going forward. We're going to continue to see more shortages. The problems go through logistics centers, through production operations, and into shipping. And the cargo ships, it's having a huge effect on the shipping that we require from all over the world. It can seem like gloom and doom, but it doesn't have to be because we are aware that there are problems. We're going to always face problems and there may not be much that we can do about it, but as an individual, you can prepare. You can get the things that you and your family rely on and have a stockpile for yourself. Don't be reliant on someone else to bring it to the store so that future you can go and purchase it at much higher prices. Now is the time 
that you want to make sure you have a stockpile of the things that you require because then you have your own storehouse you have your prepping stockpile you can shop in your stockpile you don't have to go to the store to find out that they don't have the basic things you want because you have a load of them put away with your prepping supplies it's not too late to fill your prepper pantry with long-lasting foods that are versatile and useful and these are the foods that I'm making sure that I'm stocking up now because they are in shorter supply I already have many of these food items but I don't want to run out in the future they're becoming harder to find they're putting limits on food and the prices are skyrocketing so my suggestion to you is stock up on these same items too if they're foods that you enjoy eating I'm stocking up on pasta pasta sauces rice rice mixes dry beans and canned beans canned soups cans of meat and meat meals in cans things like ravioli chili beef stew tomato products and oil whatever are the oils that you use in your cooking you want to make sure that you have some extra all of these items are becoming increasingly difficult to find they're in short supply and sometimes I go to the store they don't have any of these food items and then when I can find them the prices have gone up dramatically some of these food items I've noticed the food prices have gone up 50% and some of them have doubled in price in the last year if that continues to happen year over year will you still be able to afford a can of meat those are the questions you need to ask yourself if there are foods you depend on and you can still afford to get some of them stockpile now because they may not be available in the future leave in the comments below what are the items that you're having problems finding what are they limiting rationing what are the prices that have gone up the most on the products that you are looking for we can still get a lot of the prepper pantry foods that we want the prepping supplies that we need let this be a warning to you if the mainstream media is telling you shortages are here prices are going up there could be panic buying soon for the people who have not prepared at all if you enjoyed my video I hope you'll share it with someone else you think might like it please subscribe to the Alaska granny channel